everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in today if you don't already know i'm a kk jennifer a nigerian based youtuber i'm actually based in abuja nigeria and if you have been following me for a period of time you know that i've been doing like a series on how to make a wig and a sew in on clients without a closure guys you guys actually requested for this video so two weeks or three weeks ago i uploaded a video on how to make like a ponytail kind of hair style without a closure and you guys actually seems to really really like it i requested for the wig method and here it is this is a wig i'm wearing it's not sold into my hair as you can see my hair is actually rough i don't want to like show you guys <laughs> so it's not sold into my hair it's a wig so and so most of you actually kind of asked me a lot of questions on that video and i'm going to be addressing answering them here so the major questions were just three and the first one was if it was going to affect her hairline and then the second one the reason why we use the bandage and then the third one was on how to remove the hair the first question was if it was going to affect the hair lines and no the second question is on the bandage why we use the bandage the bandage was used just to protect her hair lines the parameters of her hair so that was the main reason the major reason why we use the bandage because we could not since we're using bonding glue bonding glue usually breaks the hair so the only way we can protect it was just to use the bandage so the third question was how to remove the hair the first step to do when you want to remove the hair is just to use a conditioner and then apply it on the particular place where you apply the bonding and then allow it for a while after that pull off the hairs from the bandage and then use a razor to cut off the threads you used to sew in the bandage and also the weft of the hair and after that then loosing the curl rolls and then wash comb and comb, wash the hair so if you follow this three or four method or the methods i'm very very sure you will not lose any strength of hair so let's move over to the topic of today and the topic of today is like i said before is on this hair so if you want to see me achieve it please continue to watch this video to the end and subscribe if you haven't like i don't even know what you're waiting for you keep watching my videos and you don't want to subscribe subscribe give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment below if you are confused or if you need guide on anything and then share to friends and family i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next video bye Okay, the first thing you need is a mannequin a mannequin stand wig cap t pins needle thread this is the hair i'm using and it's a synthetic hair expression product called rose deep and i'm using only one pack for this method we'll start stitching from the back and i'm not going to be doing the turnover method we'll do the cutting method so yeah i'm just using t pins to secure it on where i'm going to be sewing it and i'm sewing only one weft because i really want it to lay very flat just start sewing like so you guys already know the sewing method so i won't stretch much on that and as i'm sewing i'm using t pins to help guide me we'll leave the link in the description box on how to sew a wig very very detailed in case if you are interested or in case you haven't seen my previous videos we'll leave the link of all of them they are more detailed than this one and so that you won't get confused This method, like I said before, I'm not going to be doing the turnover method. When I get to the end, we'll cut off the weft with a razor so that it will really lay very flat. Then we'll place the weft on the next line and then secure it with T pins and then continue sewing until I get to the middle part of the wig. Now here is a trick. For this method, I'm avoiding the parameters of the edge of the wig cap. I'm not sewing it on the elastic band, and which is going to serve as a guide on where to apply or where to place the afro B, that's the short hair. So in the other video, we use bandage to do that part, but in this video, the bands are going to serve as a guide. I hope you understand. But if you don't, please check or watch the previous video on how to do this style. you guys that i'm sewing the 
cap in a U shape and I'm doing that in an outward U, gradually sewing it in an outward U to the center part of the wig cap. <laughs> For the middle part of the wig, we just start sewing the U shape inwards, just like the way you sew in a frontal wig, same method inwards until you get the front part. Reason is because of the closing so that it will lay very, very flat in front. <music> stitching until I get to the front part and very very close to the bands remember I'm avoiding the bands of the wig cap after stitching the last wave we'll just pack the hair in a ponytail <laughs> For the front part, we take first we take the afro bee, which is the short hair, and divide it into two waves because it's actually doubled, and most human hair comes in double waves. After dividing the waves into two with a razor, we apply bonding. For you guys, remember when I said that while sewing or stitching, I was avoiding the band of the wig cap. The reason was just for guide on how to place the short hair in front. Like the other video, we apply the bonding glue first on the weft of the hair and then cut into pieces that will fit the remaining part of the wig cap and then use gel spray to hold or secure it while I'm placing it on the wig cap. As I'm cutting the weft of the afro bee, I'm making sure that it's not too long or longer than the remaining part of the wig cap or shorter. I'm cutting according to the measurement of the remaining space on the wig cap. Basically what I'm doing is just to divide the weft of the hair into two because it's double then cut the weft into pieces just to fit the remaining part of the wig cap. Apply bonding glue and place the pieces of the hair gradually on the wig cap and then use a gel spray to secure it. Please watch this video very very carefully or if you want a better understanding you can watch the full sew in hair on a client. notice the way I place the right side is actually different from the way I'm placing the left side reason is just because of the closing we'll continue placing until the two sides meet very close to each other <laughs> is becoming very tight instead of placing the weft vertically we just place it in a, almost like a semi-cycle spray and press it down don't know if you understand what i mean reason is just because of the closing so that the closing will look like a cycle and when it's closed like a cycle it will look almost invisible please watch the video very carefully for a better knowledge So 
while applying the glue that's the bonding glue on the weft of the hair try as much as possible not to apply too much like a large quantity apply it like you want to apply glue on the lashes very very light not too much just so that the glue won't stain the hair <laughs> final look thank you so much for watching this video to do and please don't forget to share to friends and family like the video and leave a comment stay blessed yeah. Yeah. Uh.